Hello, and welcome to WD Electronics. Um, today we're going to look at a dumpster find that I found. It was just in a, a big mess, so I rescued it. It's a Whirl Lightser 4100, um, which is a tube um, organ from the um, like, like around 19, 1960s. Vintage. I used uh, a whole bunch of vacuum tubes. Just a ton. Just looks like a big mess in there. But a nice little vintage find that I found right just sitting in a big pile in the in the dump yard. So let's take a look at it. Well, I rescued all the boards. So I got number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. So I'm assuming number one is the main main oscillator, and then number two is the first divider, second divider, third divider, fourth divider, and fifth divider. And this this thing back here is a mono um, tube amplifier that I apparently. Uh, I think draw the seekers. Nice big nice big transformer on that thing. I think that'd be a pretty nice tube amplifier. Unfortunately the uh, one of these can capacitors is has a really big cut in it. Right there. It's I don't know, it's seen better days. <laughs> so this circuit right here, I don't really know what it does. But it's got a uh, solid state solid state transistors on it, which is uh must be right when they um, came out with uh commercial transistors either or even though they still use uh, vacuum tubes in these uh um, frequency divider modules and all the vacuum tubes are removed before I got there so i I don't really know. If there's anything else what I can do with this. It's in uh, pretty bad condition. Some of the the perf board is broken, and or the phenolic. There's a there's a broken thing right there, a broken uh, inductor. It's dents and dings all over. <laughs> it's probably just thrown thrown out there, it's baked in the sun and washed with the rain. <laughs> So as you can see right on here, there's a there's a date code. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. 1965. Oops, that's upside down. You can see right here there's a there's a date code. 65. And up here it's even another 65. Uh, this is a close-up of the actual circuit. It's it's got a lot of just really complex. I assume these things up here are uh, voltage rails that um, each like for the filament current and different other voltages. I read in the schematic that there's up to 270 volts um, on the, one of the rails. It's a big chip right there off of the phenolic. It's kind of, well, it's that point-to-point -point construction of the day. See the nice, <laughs> all the nodes on this big, big circuit board right there. These would be the, the tubes, obviously. And they're just a big, big pile, all handmade. <laughs> hand assembled. Must have took someone a long time to to construct this circuit <laughs> at the factory. They they put a nice little uh, string on the on the wires going out, presumably to the keys or the organ. Nice, all nice, just hand wrapped with a little string. And this is a solid solid core wire, so. 
that's pretty interesting. That's going to be a lot of solid core wire. There's the next one that's and kind of got a little beat up. <laughs> Here's some more. That's that's a lot of capacitors. Just a ton. And these these uh, 12F Q8 tubes. Four four in each four in each module. 24 tubes total for this uh, tone generation part. It's a nice, a nice capacitor right there. I don't know if that's oil filled or not. That'd be to check that out to see if it's going to be dangerous or not. Um, I'm sure the oil <laughs> leaked out already after the after the year, after all these years. Which is uh, a little bit dangerous, I think. So these, these inductors must must be able to. They said they're tunable on the schematic, so they must be able to get there with a with a tool and uh, tweak those tweak those inductors a little bit. Is that screw right there? Hmm, that seems seems pretty good. <laughs> oh. Nice, nice thick uh, solid wires right there if we need. So let's take a look at this uh, mono amp now. Oh, wow. Ugh, that's heavy. Here's the front side of it. Whirlitzer organ amplifier number 650172. 117 volts, 50 or 60 cycles. Corneth, Corneth, Mississippi, United States. Tone cabinet, auxiliary output, vibrato depth control, and some transistors that or vacuum tubes that were removed before I got there. Aux input, record, accessory power, fuse, 5 amp fuse, and the, the main power connector right there. Uh, Transformer sticking out the back, <laughs> the giant one. There's some those old uh, can capacitors. Very, very interesting that they would, that they fit the five, uh, four or five capacitors in one one can. There's the inside of it. There's the the can capacitor connection going into the internals of it three tube connections up on the top. There's another one right there. Another one right there. There's one right there too. So lots of great lots of great components in here. Lots of good uh, capacitors, carbon film resistors, big chunky uh, power resistors right there. Ceramic ceramic capacitors. Nice big huge transformer. Just really, you know, that old stool, the old school uh, braided cloth wire. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Or those power connectors. Ooh, that one's kind of sticky. <laughs> so, electrolytic capacitors. Are, not <laughs> to put them on the capacitor meter to, to figure out if they're good or not. Still. <laughs> After you know, 50 years of since it's been made. This has been a quick look at the Warlitzer 4100 series tube organ from the 1960s vintage.
a lot of a lot of components that went into these models. Just it's ama like amazing the complexity of the, the circuitry in these in these old tube organs. I'm pretty surprised. Nowadays it'll be you know one little tiny circuit board that replaces all this. But I'm sure the sound isn't isn't the same as this old uh, tube organ right here with the vacuum tubes. So, hope you liked the video.